So there's a lot of guys out there that want to discuss the problem with modern women, you know. They want to talk about how delusional modern women are. Now what they mean by this is that modern women tend to ignore the good guys. You know, particularly between the ages of 18 to 28, they ignore all the good guys while running around with the bad boys, right? They run around with the dumb jock, you know, the high testosterone bully. They run around with the drug dealer. They run around with the rock star. You know, they run around with the gangbanger or whatever it may be, right? They run around with the bad guys and they ignore the good guys. And then when they turn about 28 years old and they see the iceberg dead ahead, then they want to stand on the top of the mountain and scream, where have all the good men gone? You know. Now, <clears throat> it's understandable why so many guys are fixated on this topic, right? Because there's a lot of good guys out there that are pursuing bad girls. But if you're one of these guys, the number one thing that you need to understand is you are pursuing women who are below you. That's why you have this problem, you know. You're pursuing women who are too stupid to keep up with you. That's the harsh truth, you know. It's just the way that it is, you know. But uh, you really got to question yourself. Why are you pursuing women that are too stupid for you? What if, uh, what if you had three roommates, three of your best friends, right? You're 21 years old. And you're all potheads, right? You're smoking pot all the time. <sighs> all you want to do is sit around and smoke pot. Until one day, you're smoking on a joint, and you come up with a light bulb. You get a, a big-time decision here. You say, I see wealth sitting right in front of me. I see money. You know, this could be money. What if I stop spending all of my money on the weed? What if I save it? And then I open up a dispensary and I do it legally. I get my license and I turn what used to be a bad habit into $100,000 a year. And you look at all of your uh, roommates and you say, here's what we're going to do, guys. Step number one. We're going to stop smoking pot. Step number two, we're going to save all the money that we used to spend on pot. We're going to save it up to start our own business. And when we're thinking more clearly, we'll get our licenses, we'll get all of our ducks in a row, work out all of our checks and balances, and we'll open up the business. Six months later, you haven't touched marijuana. You've saved up every penny. You've got your ducks in a row and you go back to your friends and you say, guys, how much did you get saved up? And all three of them are still sitting there smoking. They're high as a kite. They say, shit, I didn't save up nothing. I'm high as a motherfucker. Is is the logical conclusion that you should come up with, is it that modern men are delusional? Is that going to help you progress? Is that going to help you accomplish your goals and get what you want out of life? Or should you look at your three friends and say, man, I got to cut these guys off. I need better friends. I have outgrown these guys. 
I'm not going to get anywhere running around with these guys. So you upgrade to better friends. You cut the dead weight, you cut off the losers, and you start running around with winners. That seems like a pretty rational decision, pretty logical conclusion. Well, the problem with modern women is the same exact thing, right? If you're a dude, a good dude, that has your head on straight, right? You've got your ducks in a row. You've got everything in order, financially, physically. You know, your health, your wealth is on point. Maybe you're religious. You're responsible. Everything's paid on time. You're ready to move on to bigger and better things in life. And the women you're pursuing are still shaking their asses in the nightclubs. They're still doing OnlyFans. They're still running around like thoughts. Still doing drugs, getting drunk all the time. Still wanting to hook up with the bad boys. Is the rational decision to sit around and complain about how delusional modern women are? Or is the decision to say, you know what? I've been pursuing the wrong types of women. I'm going to have to go over on this side and talk to some of these women who aren't quite as exciting. Maybe they're not quite as hot. Who knows? But maybe it's time I start talking to some different women. Now, that seems like the uh, better idea, in my opinion. But, you know, we have truly gotten dumber as a human species. The majority of guys out there are unable to come up with that conclusion on their own. They have to be told. They have to be woken up and shaken. You know, these black-pilled guys, all of them say they wouldn't hook up with a woman that's a 2 out of 10, that's obese, that's ugly. But then they turn around and say, they're a 2 out of 10. They're obese, they're ugly. You know, you got to find the people that are like you, that are your match. You know, it's a very simple process. But the problem with adopting this mindset, this mindset that women are the problem, <clears throat> that's going to lead you usually in one of two different directions, and neither are good. Direction number one is you're just going to quit. You're going to give up. You're going to say, modern women aren't worth it. I give up. And no man wants to do that. No man with testosterone pumping through his veins wants to get no women at all. Wants to have no girlfriend, never get laid, never get any of that. But that's one option, and a lot of guys are going down that path, a lot. Let's be honest, tons. And then there's the other path, and this one's even worse. This is... Uh, giving in to the modern degeneracy. Saying, you know what, this is what women want. I'm going to become that. A lot of guys think that's red-pilled. That's just stupidity. You know, if you're a responsible person on a good path, you might not be a bad boy, you might be a good guy, and you decide, you know what, screw it. I'm going to start going to the clubs, I'm going to start partying, I'm going to start doing some drugs. Drinking and driving, hooking up with random chicks. Where is that going to get you, man? I know everybody wants to say, well, it's going to give me a lot of good memories. Those memories aren't going to mean shit, man. DUIs, STDs, pregnancies by psychotic, narcissistic women, uh, brain damage, you name it. That's where that path will lead you. But a lot of guys do it, and they do it for the girls. There's guys that will literally sell drugs because they think that women like that. You know, they just become a complete piece of shit degenerate so they can keep up with the degeneracy of the women that they're pursuing. 
It's really dumb, you know. Later this week, I want to discuss a topic, and I'm going to show you this chart here because it actually falls in line with this video a little bit too, but you are in the bottom left corner. That's where you're at right now. And you are on a fast track straight to the top left corner, and there's nothing you can do about it. If you're extremely lucky, your children or your grandchildren will be in the top right corner and their children can be in the bottom right corner. But you will never experience the bottom right corner. That ended probably a decade ago, unfortunately. And this is the cycle that civilizations go through. They always have, they always will. It's just how it works. And it takes hundreds of years to finish one of these cycles. And being in the bottom left, it's not a good place to be, guys. But that's where we're at. So now would be the time to get your heads on straight. You know, stop worrying about the degenerate bullshit. Hope this video was somewhat informative. That's about it for tonight, guys. Until next time, see ya.